Hey guys, here's the channel's video schedule. Wednesdays will be booster packs or more, Saturdays will be collection boxes or tins, and there may be possible videos in between the week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can follow along with the channel to see what happens. Thanks for watching. Why, hello there. Today, I have the Eveltal collection from XY. XY was a very long time ago. Stop trying to fall over, please. To keep things relevant, I also have two sword and shield booster packets since I um, have a very bad habit of saying, oh, I'm going to keep this sealed instead of actually opening it when I open old products like this. But luckily, I actually kept one of these completely sealed because you may have noticed a second ago there was a 50% uh, off price tag on it. So uh, I bought like six of them because <laughs> I'm a little bit greedy. Okay then, so this comes with the jumbo sized Eveltal card as well as the standard sized Eveltal card. Now I think if I remember correctly this is the first ever Eveltal card ever printed which is why I'm keeping one of them sealed. Um, I might be wrong about that but I'm not sure. We still have our waifu here of course. Um, I'm not sure what this card is from. I know it's a waifu sports card that uh, Weeaboo trading card game. A Japanese seller sent it to me and I have no idea what to do with it. I don't want to throw it away because it was given to me kind in the kindness of their heart. Why is there an energy card on the front? Was this how they did that? That's strange. Oh, these code cards, they look so much different. There is that. Free. So I guess we can take off that because it's fire energy. Free to the front. And we have some roller skates, a very old but playable card. Crocorock, Fletchendeer, Froakie, Skitty, Shelder, Fletchling, Zara as a reverse hollow, and an Aegislash Slash as a hollow. Not bad. Aegislash Slash is awesome. It's such an underrated Pokemon, Aegislash. Slash. I really like that. This design was such a cool like mix up I guess like the whole concept behind it was such a, just a great Pokemon I think it's a very very under underrated as I just said repeatedly code card free this is sword and shield by the way so as you can see rainbow rares hopefully we'll get another one Salazzle Dog Trio Pokemon Center Lady Galarian Zigzagoon Gossifleur Silly Cobra I hate Silly Cobra's name it's so silly. No, I just really don't like it. Yampa, uh, Krabby, Raboot as a reverse hollow, and oh, there we go. Oh, well, that was nice. We got a more Peko as a non hollow, but it's still a nice card. That's pretty cute. I like the uh, the artwork there. Um, I think I've like said this every time I've opened Sword and Shield packets so far. I really really don't like them. The cards feel so strange. It, it can't just be me that thinks this. Please somebody reassure me and tell me that it's not just me. They feel so much more like... We don't take off an energy, do we? It feels like I can't... You see how I'm... These are just kind of like gliding out. I can't do that with the Sword and Shield cards for some reason. It feels so, 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 so... Oh shit. Put that in the wrong pile. Special double colorless reverse hollow and Arbok as a non hollow. It just feels super strange to me. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know why, but it is. But I'm gonna open another packet now and I'm gonna try and prove my point of what I meant. It's like a hard mix between the quality of the cards being better or they're just not, but. We'll, we'll, I'm not going to do this, I'll try my hardest not to do this deliberately anyway. But we have a Pokemon Catcher, Drizzle, Evolution Incense, Baltoy, Salandit, Galarian Ponyta. See, my point is like every time I do this now, it feels like I'm bending the cards rather than just sliding them upwards. I don't know if you can see that. Pokemon Center Lady is a reverse hollow. And Ninetales as a beautiful artwork, Ninetales as a non hollow. Now this video, as short as it is, will mark a special coming on my channel. I will have 
400 subscribers and my Instagram account will have 600 followers marking a total of 1000 which is a big thing for me so I think I'll be announcing a giveaway sometime soon so keep an eye on the channel um, I'll do it on YouTube not Instagram so everyone can find it here hopefully but uh, I'll announce the giveaway at some point soon uh, I need to plan what I want to actually do there are going to be multiple tiers on the winners so hopefully somebody more or more than one people can win something um, the same person can't win the two tiers so it'll be like one person each kind of thing but I, I need to think about it I need to like actually think of a cool prize because it's a big deal for me and I'd like to give it back to people for supporting me at least anyway last card is behind this reverse hollow red card what will we get another Aegis Lash all right nice it's not a uh, not an EX or a full art or anything but it's an Aegislash, and you know what? Aegislash is an underrated Pokemon. Do you know why? Because Aegislash had two forms. It had the sword form and it had the shield form. This was a very strange opening because I just opened sword and shield booster packets. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. And once again, the giveaway, it, it's still in the planning stage, but I will, I will officially do one at some point. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Peace.